Well, welcome everybody. We are here tonight um, and we are going to get together and just focus on our own personal health and wellness and how we can live a vibrantly healthy life. And I know for me, um, I started using oils five years ago, super exciting time in my life because I was saying yes to um, just truly a health journey. And I found so many benefits from the oils themselves in our own personal life. And for us now, it's extended well beyond just us. Um, we have thousands of women um, and men locking arms with us to just chase after wellness, purpose, and abundance. And for us in our, in our own life, that means that we get to be a work from home family and we get to together be on this journey. And what I mean by that is this is what we get to do for our full-time jobs and full-time income. So in addition to, to helping our own family, we've been able to help enough people that we can do this together. And so that's something I always love to share straight up front. So I will say that the fun disclaimer of the night is I am not a doctor and I am not here to treat, diagnose, prescribe, or cure, but I am here to share information for educational purposes only. I will be here tonight um, with my two friends, Becca and Casey. Um, and girls, when you start, you're welcome to give a little information about yourself when it's for portion, but the three of us are excited to be sharing with you and to um, truly just look look at each other and say that we're, we're in this to do better and we wanna share with our friends. We wanna make sure we're able to um, to change your lives just through 40 minutes tonight. So go ahead and tell the person that invited you thank you because they care deeply about your health and wellness and they want to make sure that you are um, living a lifestyle where you can always constantly be improving and constantly um, get better. So we're gonna go through what an essential oil is, how to use them, why Young Living, what comes in our premium starter kit, so really the basics that come in your kitchen, a few more things about the opportunity and about our monthly wellness program that all of us enjoy, our rewards box, and then of course, um, let you know how to get started. The most important part to me is that you learn what essential oils are, why Young Living, how to use them, and you'll figure out the rest once you get your own kit at home. So essential oils are, um, the lifeblood of the plant. So a simple way to explain it, I always say lifeblood of the plant, it sounds so sciencey, but what they are is they are tiny molecules that actually heal, restore, and protect the body um, the same way they do in the plants. So in the plants, they actually go through and like when we cut our grass, um, I love how the grass grows back right away. It doesn't then shrivel up and die because we are healing, restoring, and protecting um, protecting the grass because the, the molecules in it and the essential oils are doing that to the grass. Same thing when we have a tree that's um, be, that's pruned or even a tree that's been struck by lightning, it usually is gonna regenerate and regrow. They do come from trees, shrubs, leaves, grasses, resins, flower. Think also rose petal rub between your fingers. Um, they are cold pressed from the rind, such as our citrus oils, or they're actually steam distilled. So steam distillation is a really complicated process, but it's pretty epic to know about it. It's actually where we take the plant material and then steam it so that it actually evaporates and then condensates again. And that's where we get the actual essential oil from. Um, really crazy to think they only touch stainless steel and glass, and it's something that takes a really long time, and you have to be trained to know exactly how to distill. It makes a whistle sound when it's done. Um, there are seven people in the world that are known noses, which means they can smell something when it's being distilled and know that it's ready to go. They are greaseless, unlike other oils in your home, and they're super concentrated. So it takes 27 square foot of lavender to make one bottle of lavender oil and 75 lemons to make one bottle of lemon. So you really only need to use one to three drops per use, and just one drop will penetrate every cell in your body in a matter of minutes. That is crazy. That means it does not really matter where you use the essential oil. It will get to the cell it needs to get to. So essential oils, they've been around for thousands and thousands of years. They're mentioned in the Bible over a thousand times, and they've been seen in the hieroglyphs on Egyptian cave walls. Fun fact, the Egyptians actually have the oldest recorded deodorant recipe using essential oils. Um, now I think about how we, as a company, just came out with a, a brand new deodorant, and it's crazy to think it's been around for that long. The, the concept of not wanting to stink, right? 
So they, when they penetrate our skin, they actually move quickly into our bloodstream and they penetrate the blood brain barrier. So the blood brain barrier is like our barriers, our brain, our central nervous system, most things that we're used to using don't actually penetrate at that level, but they just simply um, mask the effect of something or cover it up. Um, each one of our cells, picture ninth grade biology, so you have a giant cell right here. Each little cell has cell receptors on the surface of it, which the cell receptor does things like lets good things like antioxidants into the cell, then does things like really blocks bad things from getting into the cell and then gets rid of cellular waste. What happens is when our cell receptors get clogged, hello, petrochemicals, anything petroleum-based, lotions, makeup, BPA, our cells actually become toxic and full of drunk, full of junk. Like a good marriage, our cells need to be able to communicate with each other. And if our cells can't communicate because of this cellular waste and petrochemicals that's coating the cell receptors, our symphony of our body is totally out of whack and we actually aren't able to we're not able to function properly, right? Because the brain can't tell the hand what to do and the hand can't tell the brain there's a problem. It, it, it's, it's a little crazy to think about. And one drop of essential oil actually has 40 million trillion molecules in it. And that's more molecules in just one drop of essential oil than cells in our entire body. That's how they can affect us, our entire body, in, in just a matter of minutes. So on your skin, they actually can go in and affect you in, yeah, in like 26 seconds, it's insane. So now that you've learned a little bit about essential oils, the basics of what they are, let's talk about why Young Living. This is something for me that I am so proud of. Our company's been around for 25 plus years and we're the oldest, most well-respected essential oil company in the world, guys, in the world. Um, and that is something that I would say after doing a lot of research, it, really showed me that the marketplace is full of synthetic things and copycats and imitators and that you do not want to jeopardize the health of you and your family by going for something that you cannot know if they own and operate their farms. You can't know the background. You don't know the science and the testing and the research that goes on. So we have something called Seed to Seal and the Seed to Seal Guarantee. Um, you can visit that website. It's seed to sealcom And that Seed to Seal Guarantee is that we, from the time that the seed is taken and germinated and then planted in the ground all the way up until the triple testing in the labs occurs and then we actually seal the bottle after the last test that we know exactly what's in our oils and exactly where it came from. And just like your food, you want to know what's in something that you're ingesting or putting on your body. So this, this concept encompasses the element that each plant is actually hand weeded. Um, I've been to the farms, I've seen it happen. There's no pesticides, no chemicals, no weed killers. And since essential oils are not regulated by the FDA, none of the supplements industry is, it's important to know the practices of the company. That's why I love the transparency of Young Living. I believe in knowing thy farmer, and not only do I know thy farmer with Young Living, but I've been thy farmer. I've been to five of our farms around the world have tasted, felt, seen, and just been part of these harvests. And I know exactly what happens and the origin of our plants. And I've seen it for myself and you can too. Members are actually invited to visit our Young Living Farms and be part of the harvest and the replanting each year. Um, I could go on and on about, about Young Living and why it's different, but I wanna caution you that everything we talk about tonight is only about Young Living. It has is not about um, essential oils in general, because again, it, the marketplace is flooded now with just imitations and things that end up being lab created synthetics. So I'm going to go ahead and kick it to Becca, and she's going to tell us how we use these essential oils. Hey guys, so my name is Becca Nairn, and um, I have Allie here with me. She's my daughter. She, okay, she really wanted to partic participate tonight, but anyway. Okay, so I have been using Young Living for about six years and um, just recently really started learning the how and the why behind the oils, whereas before I was um, going to my mom, hey mom, I have this issue, and she would tell me what to do, and that was fantastic. I didn't have any interest in the how and the why behind it, just because um, I wasn't there yet, but now I am, and I've been loving learning the how and the why behind how they work and why they work and why Young Living. So what I'm gonna to talk to you about is how you, 
sorry. She's upset with me right now. I'd love for you to sit with me, Al. Okay. So, um, so how you use essential oils. So there are three basic ways. Topically, you inhale them and internally. So topically, essential oils are absorbed by the skin, which is our largest organ. In fact, the bottom of our feet have over 2,000 pores, and some of the largest pores in our body are actually on our feet. So it's a great, great way to get the oils absorbed rapidly or to apply an oil that you don't really like the smell of, but you need to use it. So um, I have a few that I don't like the smell of, but I still just dump them all over my body. But once you get used, until you get used to it, you can put them on the bottoms of your feet. So two ways to use them topically. The first one is called neat, which is directly on the skin. And the second way is diluted. So you'll dilute it with a carrier oil. Uh, carrier oil is just a fatty oil, kind of like coconut oil or grapeseed oil, and they help dilute the essential oil, so they make it easier to apply to a larger, sur a larger surface area of the skin, like your back or your legs or your arms. I, I put them everywhere. Using a carrier oil also helps to temper the oils that are considered hot, like peppermint or cinnamon or oregano. Diluting doesn't reduce the effect of the effect of of the oils. That's really important to know. It does not reduce the effectiveness. Instead, it acts more like a time release. So it, I typically recommend diluting them on kids and yourself until you know how your skin will handle an oil. Um, me personally, I'm really, really sensitive to anything synthetic like candles or room sprays or anything like that. They give me headaches. They make my tongue tingle. They make my hands like um, kind of like stiffen up but I'm not sensitive to any of the oils. So I think that's pretty fascinating that I can have such a reaction to something that's synthetic, but then these oils I don't have reactions to. But some people do, so, uh, or some people are more sensitive. So just use a carrier oil until your body adjusts to the um, oils. And carrier oils also stretch your essential, essential oils and your dollars. Um, and I just get my carrier oil from, from Amazon, Amazon Prime, that's how I do everything. So the second way to use the oils are through inhalation. So scents are really powerful and the fastest way to reach our mood center is through our noses. So in less than a second, the essential oils will hit our limbic system where our emotions are housed and they have a powerful effect on our mood. So most American homes, have some kind of synthetic air fresheners, like I just mentioned, plug-ins, aerosol sprays, candles. I actually just threw a bottle of my husband's uh, Lysol and Febreze spray out. I don't even know why he buys this still, because he knows it's going in the trash can. Anyway, um, so all of those things contain chemicals, um, namely formaldehyde, which is a class one carcinogen, and that have been linked to cancer and other health issues. So you use oils in a diffuser which comes in your starter kit or in a spray bottle with water or witch hazel to replace your synthetic air freshener in the home and save money and kick the chem chemicals to the curb. You better believe I replaced his Lysol spray with a homemade air freshener and some thieves because that's all you need really to clean the bathroom. Um, so the benefits of diffusing, it's non-toxic, it's mood enhancing, it purifies the air, and it helps with sleep and allows you to create your, create your own scent that will affect an entire room. The last way that I'm going to talk about is internal as a dietary supplement. So I would never recommend ingesting any oils outside of Young Living. A majority of the oils that are produced outside of Young Living, uh, like you can get, like you can even get them at like Walgreens, the dollar store. Oh my goodness, it's so scary all the places that sell essential oils nowadays. So most of the oils produced outside of Young Living are adulterated and they contain chemicals or solvents or they're just flat out synthetic. So this makes them really dangerous to ingest, but thankfully all of ours are pure and totally safe to ingest. Young Living has a whole line of oils for internal use. They have white labels and they're called the Vitality line. And I do not have my kit with me because I just don't. It's in the other room and I'm not going to get up and get it right now because we're trying to be really effective with our time. So they have white labels. They're called Vitality. I like to add, um, I like to add these oils to my water or a cup of tea. I'll even put one to two drops of thieves 
on a spoonful of honey. So you can take oils in an empty veggie capsule. Again, I get those on Amazon. Or you can just add them to a carrier oil so your body absorbs them better. You can also use them in baking and cooking. One of my favorite recipes, don't judge, I'm not a baker, is a box brownie and then a few drops of peppermint. And it is like the absolute best peppermint brownie ever. So as far as safety goes, you should definitely not put oils in your eyes or your ears. <laughs> you can use them around your eyes and around your ears, but not in them. And care should also be taken to dilute the oils that are hot to the skin, like I chatted about earlier. So if an oil ever feels warm to your skin, don't use water to cool it off or to get rid of it. Instead, use a carrier oil to help soothe the warming sensation. And the same goes if you should get oil in your eyes, just use a carrier oil. I had to do that with my daughter earlier. We got bit by a bunch of bugs randomly, um, put peppermint oil on, and then she immediately like touched her eye. So we just added a little bit of coconut oil and she was better. All right, so that's all I got for you right now. And I think we're gonna next talk about the starter kit. Yep, so I'm gonna actually, uh, Casey is gonna talk to us about some of the oils in there and I will just introduce y'all to why in the world we say the starter kit. It's because it's the basics. It's like what's in your kitchen, butter, salt, olive oil, whatever it is you use. For me, it's like pepper, cumin, cayenne pepper. I love all the pepper. So this is what you would start with to really just get a jump start on replacing some toxins. So Casey, um, we're happy to have you on here. I was just with Casey in person, so I think it's kind of funny that now we're on a Zoom together. Just a side note for y'all for the night. It's fun that we have this technology. Okay, hey. Yeah, it was funny. We're, we go to the same Bible study, so I had to rush home real fast to get on here. So, hi, I'm Casey Capra. I have used um, Young Living Essential Oils for about a year and a half. Um, my mom had given me a few growing up in high school. I was super stressed out. So she handed me all of the oils for stress. Um, but um, really what got me into oils is I got um, pregnant with my firstborn and realized, oh my goodness, everything I put in my body, everything I put on my body affects this tiny human. Oops. Sorry, my phone is low battery mode. Um, and I was, I realized how many things in my home just were not conducive for his growth and development and started looking into more natural solutions. So got into essential oils and Young Living was like the answer for like all of it. And it has taken over my house completely now, but it all started with these guys. Okay. So, um, Ashley, you want me to jump right in? You want me to get going with singles? Okay, cool. So. Um, Becca just told, told us about ingesting essential oils and none of us will ever tell you to ingest anything but Young Living, of course, but you know, she was talking about these white labels. So, so you'll see these guys like peppermint has a white label. This stress way has a green label. Okay. So that's how you'll be able to tell which oils are, um, set aside, especially labeled for you to be able to ingest them. So, so let's talk about peppermint first off. Okay. So, um, if you have these oils with you, I would suggest that you like smell them or inhale them like as we're talking about them. Cause it'll help, um, smells are strongly associated with memory. So it'll help you remember uses ways to use them later on and what they're good for. If you smell them while you're learning about them. So, mm, and peppermint wakes you right up y'all. So peppermint is super great to get your brain moving. It is great to diffuse in the morning to perk you up, get you moving. Um, it is also really great to just help oxygen flow to the brain um, in a greater capacity. I love to use this one, um, a drop under my tongue when my husband is driving, because you guys, I don't know what it is. <laughs> I cannot be passengers and sue my husband's driving. Um, and so this one like, is the one that literally stays in my purse at all times. Um, these are the essentials, y'all. So a drop of peppermint under my tongue really helps my stomach calm down. Or maybe if I've had too many tacos, whatever it is. Um, also, a drop on your tongue is really great for like a last minute breath freshener. You know, if you're heading into church on a date and you just need something to help you feel fresh and spicy, that's also um, a good solution. I seriously use peppermint all the time. 
a couple drops in brownie mix. Yes, Becca, I am with you. I actually made some of those last night. Um, okay, so then um, the next one is lemon. Lemon's another um, vitality oil with the white label. Lemon is really, really great to help your body with a gentle detox. You know, Ashley talked about how our cells can get really clogged up with petrochemicals and all these yucky things that we are breathing in our environment or experiencing in our beloved target, whatever it is. So a drop or two of lemon in your water is a great way to help your cells cleanse and get all that yucky stuff off because our bodies aren't designed to process it. So sometimes our bodies don't know how to get rid of it naturally. They need something to help encourage that, okay? Don't use a plastic water bottle though. You want to use stainless steel or glass, okay? So see, I got stainless steel cup, stainless steel straw. Um, because lemon digests those yucky plastics and petrochemicals, you don't want it eating away at your cup and then you ingesting it because that defeats the purpose. So a lemon is also really great in the diffuser in the morning. Lemon and peppermint is like the best wake me up combo ever. I also love it in my diffuser. My frankincense is so bright and cheerful. Like Becca mentioned, smells go directly to the part of our brain that deals with our moods and our memories. So lemon, citrus oils, they are great to help boost your mood. Just get you, you know, we've had a lot of rain here in Southern Virginia. And so it's a really great way to just get you out of that rainy state of mind. So frankincense, since I just mentioned that one, frankincense. So I found oils when I was was like pregnant when I had a newborn so like most of my oil hacks are like new mom tricks and you guys frankincense was one that I did not even know that I needed until I had it it is so so grounding um and grounding is kind of a funny word but the way I imagine it is like you're having a crazy day you know maybe you're trying to get three kids out of the door for school maybe you have a ton going on at work or maybe you have a ton of assignments to do whatever it is. You have like 20 different things in your mental to-do list. Frankincense is the oil you grab because it just helps you. It puts it into a manageable little funnel to help you feel like grounded and like, okay, I got this. It gives you that clarity of mind to keep going, that emotional stability to feel more confident when you're tackling that 20,000 to-do list. Okay, so I love frankincense for that reason, especially when I was a new mom. Um, I love it to in the diffuser while I'm doing yoga or maybe when I'm doing something meditative or studying. Um, frankincense and lemon, my favorite diffuser combo like ever. It's also really great gentle immune boost for in, um, infants and little babies because um, there are some stronger oils that they're more sensitive to, but frankincense is super gentle and really great, a really great one for the newborns. So um, let's see. I also have, okay, I think this is my last one. Um, Speaking of newborns, what do we want them to do? We want them to sleep, right? <laughs> uh, I think every mama wants their kids to sleep more. So lavender. I think that everybody thinks lavender, no duh, it's sleepy, it's calming. But you guys, this is actual lavender. When I first smelled it, I was expecting it to kind of smell like laundry detergent. You guys know what I'm talking about? like, Or like a Febreze spray or something like that. But this guy smells like my grandparents lavender bush that they had next to the pool when I was growing up so like I would run past that bush and hear my granddad say stop running and I'd you know be smelling that lavender bush right there next to the pool and I loved it this is the same thing crammed into a bottle the same calming and relaxing effects so I love lavender I love using it on my son or in his diffuser super calming and relaxing Mamas, it is great with some Epsom salts in a bath or even just a foot soak after a long day at work. Whatever it is, it is so, so super calming. Um, this is actually the Vitality label. You will probably get the one with the purple label on it, but just a little fun hack for you. It's the same ingredients in both bottles. So they're just labeled a little bit differently. One is labeled for topical, one is labeled for ingesting. So those are my four oils that I'm talking about. Um, you got your detox, you got your digestion, you have your mom brain fixer upper, <laughs> and you have your sleep and relaxation. And that was before that I started with in this box. So I think Becca is going to talk to us about the blends in the kit, right? Is that where we're going next? Yep. Sorry, I was trying to unmute myself. 
Okay, great. So yeah, I'm going to talk about the blends quickly. So the first one that we're going to chat about is Peace and Calming. And y'all, I'm sorry, I don't have my kit with me. It's in the car because um, I had an event earlier and left it there. The Peace and Calming, they just came out with a Peace and Calming roller. So you should all run and grab it immediately. So basically it does... Um, Peace and Calming does exactly what it says. It's a gentle blend of... I might have to let one of y'all take over if she's not going to be because we're recording. Mm -hmm. It's a gentle blend of ylang ylang, orange, tangerine, patchouli, and blue tansy. So you just diffuse it, just pull it back. Diffuse it for a calm environment, or you can pair it with lavender for a good night's sleep, which I will be definitely doing tonight. You can also apply it to the bottoms of your feet before bed, or with a carrier oil as a um, calming massage, back massage. The next one is Thieves or Thieves Vitality. So this is a blend of cinnamon, clove, eucalyptus, rosemary, and lemon. This is the best oil for all things immunity. Um, definitely anytime I'm starting to feel sick or one of my kids or husband is saying like their throat hurts or something, I'm like, all right, chug the thieves. Not really, but you can. Um, so it's the best oil to have around during the winter months. You can just take it internally on a spoonful of honey or in a veggie capsule, like I mentioned earlier. You can also add it to your diffuser or apply it topically. Just use it, just use it. If you, I'm sorry, y'all. This is the life, right? With kids and working from home. Um, Casey, do you wanna take over since she's not exactly, um, are you gonna go? Okay, okay. We'll, we'll keep giving it a go. So I highly recommend the Thieves Household Cleaner. It is amazing for everything, especially if you have kids who like to help you clean. It's uh, I feel perfectly safe letting them help me because they spray it everywhere. So you can get a huge bottle of it. It will almost last you a year. You use about this much of the Thieves and dilute it with water in a um, glass water bottle, and it's amazing for everything in the house. So highly recommend that. That's one of the first products I started using. The next blend oil, which is also one that I use every single day, is Digize. So this is a blend of fennel, anise, ginger, tarragon, and peppermint. It's for all things tummy and bathroom related. Um, so if you're like feeling bloated, if you're feeling gassy, if you're feeling anything in your belly, you can take Digize and it will help, um, help you feel better. No matter what it takes, it will help you feel better. That doesn't mean it's going to like make you go to the bathroom, but it definitely could um, in a good way. Anyway, so you're just going to put a drop under your tongue, or you can use it in a veggie capsule, and you can also apply it topically to your belly, which is like the first thing that I did when I first started using Digize because it, um, it does have a little bit of a taste, which I like now, but you can just rub it on your belly whenever you need it. The next one is Valor. I absolutely love Valor. It's an emotionally grounding combo of spruce, geranium, which smells amazing, blue tansy, and frankincense. Some of my most favorite, favorite oils all in one. So it's definitely one of our most popular blends, and it's nose, nose, and it's known as um, courage in a bottle, as it helps to promote feelings of bravery. So you're just going to apply it before an important meeting, an important speech, or even <laughs> to your kids before they go to school. So I like to apply it along their spine to help with the alignment and the bottoms of my big toes. Also, like if you have a snoring husband, um, put a drop of Valor on their big toe and it can work miracles. My brother-in-law snores like a bear and like I can't even be in the same house as him when he's sleeping when we go on vacation. Um, that's when I would sleep in the same house. Anyway, and he does not snore when he took, when he puts Valor on his toe. Sounds crazy, but it works, and he's an amazing testimony. Next one is Raven. So it's a blend of Raven Stara, lemon, wintergreen, peppermint, and eucalyptus. So this is great for comfort during the winter months. It makes a great DIY chest rub mixed with coconut oil for uh, breathing easy, Ashley. And you can also, it works great applied to prior to a workout to help open the lungs or use it in a diffuser next to your bed. The last one, actually, no, I lie. 
Um, the next one is Panaway. So this is a blend of wintergreen, helichrysum, clove, and peppermint, all amazing, amazing oils. So this is great for tired muscles and joints, as well as head tension. So it's soothing if you're someone who stands or sits all day, and even after exercise, this is a great oil to use, and it's best to dilute it with the carrier oil. Citrus Fresh, oh, so good. It's exactly what it sounds like. It smells exactly what it sounds like. So it's a blend of orange and grapefruit, mandarin, tangerine, lemon, and spearmint. It neutralizes odors and purifies the air. So you can just diffuse this oil, Citrus Fresh, to uplift and brighten a room. It makes an awesome DIY room spray. Um, I know I've seen a lot of like bathrooms and like doctor's offices that have that um, synthetic room spray that has like oranges on it and yeah it, it does smell okay but it always gives me a headache immediately so this is a great really fresh spray that you can make um, as a DIY room spray you can also use it in your laundry room drop it on dryer balls for a natural scent or add a couple drops in water for a gentle detox or to flavor your drink I do that often and like Casey mentioned you definitely when um, Using any of these oils in water, you want to use a glass water bottle or a stainless steel one because you don't want to use any of the oils in plastic. One? Yeah, that's, that's glass too. You really don't want to be using plastic at all anyway. Next one is Stress Away. This is my all time favorite oil. So it's a blend of lime, vanilla, copaiba, and cedarwood. It's great for everyday stressors, emotional support restful sleep and concentration. I literally, you, you can get a stress away roller and I just put it like all over my body. It's great in the diffuser at the end of a long day paired with lavender. So it's really great for relaxing and sleep too. Um, okay, and I think Ashley is gonna chat about some of the other goodies that are gonna come in the premium starter kit. Sure. I love these oils and I'm saying that to y'all because I truly believe they are the best things to start with. Like I get so excited every time we get to introduce people to them because I really do use these oils the most out of any oils in my house and I probably have 200 different ones um, I, at least. And so it's neat to think about like this still being where we go to, these still being my go-to oils regardless of the other things I've integrated in my collection and my wellness toolbox. So in addition to the oils, you're also going to get 10 little sample bottles that you can either, somebody might have mailed you these. If you have a mini kit someone sent you, you might have these, but you can fit 10 to 30 drops in them and you can share with your friends, family, or you can make a little travel kit for yourself which is um, what a lot of you organized people might do with cute little labels and you can take it with you instead of having the 15,000 whole bottles of oil like I usually do when I travel. Um, and you're also in there going to get a roller fit mat. So you actually get two of them. You can just pop those onto your oil bottle so that you can roll away the stress. I like to put it on my Valor and my, yep, there you go. Casey has one right there. I like to put it on my Valor and on my stress away. I love it so, so much. And then you get two samples of Ningxia Red. So Ningxia Red is our superfood antioxidant drink. I absolutely love it because it is something that my family can use as a replacement for other beverages like juice. Um, we even mix it with sparkling water. I've even had it with champagne. And I love, love, love it so, so much. Um, it's one for me that we use for healthy blood sugar and we use it for everyday energy, so Ninja Red, it's the bomb. So Casey, tell us really, like we learned this is the kit that you snag at first, but uh, it's only the first bonus box, so so what's the way to keep getting, keep getting on this healthy train? Okay, yeah, because like, you know, salt and pepper are great to start with, but eventually you want cumin and paprika and all the fancy stuff, right? <laughs> So, um, I mean, for me as a new mom, the first things I was starting with was I needed a non-toxic cleaner and you're going to get a little bit in your kit, but it is seriously what you're going to want to clean your high chairs and your toilets and your everything with. And like Rebecca said, it does not even take a lot. So you want your cleaners, you want the baby. I wanted the baby wipes, you know, like it's not just like the oils. So, um, I, Waited a couple months to kind of figure out this oil thing and then started with Essential Rewards, which is a monthly box. You get to 
personally curate it and customize it every month. I seriously just got mine yesterday and I've already made a new order for next month <laughs> because I'm so excited. And every month I love creating my personalized box. I get, that's where I get my Ningxia. That's where I get my baby wipes, that's where I get my cleaners. That's where I get the oils that make me smell nice and beautiful like ylang ylang and joy. It's where I get my non-toxic makeup. But the cool thing now is that you can use your starter kit as your first ER box. And before you think I'm like making you sign your life away, you can cancel it anytime, which sounds, I totally thought you guys, this was like too good to be true. And I like wish I had actually done my homework because you can cancel it anytime you get points back every month, you get cheaper shipping, you get better deals, you get exclusive things that you can only get on the R. It's absolutely amazing. And it always sounds too good to be true when I'm telling people. <laughs> so I'm just going to make it super easy for you. When you get your starter kit tonight, I want you to do it as your first ER box. Okay. It's going to ask you, Hey, what do you want to get in August? And you can choose some things that sound fun, but you're going to get your starter kit. You're going to get cheaper shipping. You're going to get some points back to spend later. You're going to get a free lip balm. And what am I forgetting? There's one more thing. Um, you get your free lip balm. Oh, and you're going to have the freedom to cancel at any time. So maybe you get your starter kit and you're like, hold up, girl. I am way overwhelmed. You can cancel it. But probably you're going to get obsessed and use them all up and be super excited that you set yourself up for another box coming. It's just inevitable. It's just how it works. So um, text the person who invited you tonight because they are so excited, so, so excited for you to join them on this lifestyle. They want to help you live healthier and more vibrant lives. And they're super excited to help you with that. And they're going to help you figure out what you need next. Maybe it's Ningxia. Maybe it's ditching those cleaning products that are affecting your health in a bad way. Whatever it is. Um, it seriously is the best bang for your buck and it is way too good to be true and I'm absolutely obsessed with it. There's my spiel. <laughs> I love that. So now we want to make sure you know how to get that kid in your hand um, and also just what your, you know, what your next steps are. You're going to Decide tonight. There's three ways you can get started. Um, I always would say that for me, I love the best. I want the best of everything that I can possibly get in life. I don't mean necessarily things, but just the best experiences. So there's a good way to start your experience, and that is by snagging this premium starter kit and saying, I am all in. It's only $165 for $340 of product, which is crazy town, like Black Friday every day, even better steal than that. So you can get started in that way. You'll have your own your own health and wellness login kit is what I mean. And login, excuse me. So you order your kit yourself. You don't pay Casey or Becca or me. You're actually going to get it yourself from whoever sent you to this class. The second way is really the better way to get started. And that's by adding on that thieves household cleaner. Just as the first step saying me, not really sure. I'm going to add on this thieves household cleaner. And the third way to get started is by taking full advantage. And actually your kit counts as hundred PV on ER, which again, you get that lip balm, super cool. You should do that if you're doing the, the good way to get started too. just do an ER and cancel it if you don't want to do it anymore. But you, the best way to get started really is having an order of the kit on ER plus setting up a template for you to get your Ninja Red restocked, get a diffuser for another room, get that thieves household cleaner. And let's go ahead and knock out an area of toxins in your home that you're sick of having, like your bathroom. Maybe it's your kitchen countertops with your, you know, seeing up there, your toxic hand foot pan soap and your dish soap. Maybe it's your laundry room and we're going to talk about getting you that laundry soap. Maybe it's your pet products. Maybe it's your shampoo. I don't know what that is for you, but let's go ahead and just knock out that first area of your health goals and get it um, on ER enrollment and start ordering new products or ordering products right now that are new to you, replacement buying and earning free stuff back. As far as sharing, um, there's a huge opportunity to share. They, we are a referral-based company. We are a network marketing company. I'm very proud of that. And what that means is um, it's simply like recommending a restaurant to people you love or an Instant Pot or an Air Fryer or whatever that is, you know, tickling your fancy right now, right? Whatever that, that you love. I don't know, I've never said that phrase before. I'm pretty sure it's the first time in my life. So I hope that was the right context. Casey giggled. Um, so I want you to think about that 
Um, I am holding up a awesome mug from Starbucks right now. I have some sleep tea in here. Both of these things are absolutely fabulous. Young Living simply pays me to recommend products to my friends. I can enroll three friends the first month you get started. Your kit's basically free. We can help you with the logistics of that, but the income potential is pretty um, unlimited and it is for everyone. And all you need to do to do that is you just get your premium starter kit and you get started sharing. There's no like, I'm a distributor, or I'm a salesperson thing. It's all about community and growing our community together because we are the gatekeepers of our home. What comes in and out of our homes is up to us. So let's get you started with the best products for you and your family and on this journey that we can grow and learn together. Um, remember to thank the person that invited you to this class. They can get you started in the best way and they can also help you set up a follow-up class or a one-on-one -on -one where you can learn your next steps, what to add on to that monthly wellness box and how to uh, introduce these products to those you love around you. So thank you, Casey. Thank you, Becca. And thank you every single person that took time out of your evening to join us because you could have been anywhere else, but you chose to spend the past 45 minutes with us. Thanks, guys, and we cannot wait to welcome you to our community.